you you touch upon serious issues. Yeah. Uh, even though even though you write humor, and and how does that how does that dichotomy work for you as a writer? Well, I, I I've come to to I've I've learned I guess over the years that that humor can be really serious stuff, uh, and that humor can be a rather trenchant instrument of social comment if it's wielded uh, skillfully. Not that I'm all that skillful at it, but I'm aiming for that. Uh, and I think sometimes uh, when social issues are, are under discussion, uh, anger and rage uh, and the protest march are the, the staples of social activism. And I sometimes think when we need to be convince a broader population uh, to get engaged, that the impact of rage and anger can be diminished through repetition. And it just washes over as, oh, there's yet another protest on Parliament Hill today. I'm not sure what cause it is, but, you know, it's Wednesday, so maybe it's this, co you know. Yeah. And it just becomes a little almost, uh, it's just overdone. And I, I've come to realize that you can give people a different entry point to uh, social issues through satire, through humor. Uh, and they may not even realize that they're now thinking about these issues because you have uh, got them hooked on a story, you hope, that doesn't use all of the staples that social activism has leaned on for so many years. So. Uh, and I think it's important for writers to write about things that interest them, that they're passionate about, that are important to them. And since my days at McMaster, when I had my own social awakening, as so many others did in the student movement, heavily involved with student politics on campus and uh, the national student movement, and feminism is a very important strand that runs through the, the national student movement. And I was, uh, I was a convert. To me, it remains the single most pervasive social injustice we have on the planet. Uh, and I, you can see it, I think, my interest in feminism lurking in the undergrowth of my other novels, but it is certainly front and center in, uh, in Poles Apart. But again, trying to get people to think about it while enjoying a story. And plenty of people would read the novel and just enjoy it as a story, I think, and maybe not uh, accept or embrace uh, the you know the, the issue underneath, <laughs> but I think other people, and I hope some people gave passing thought to some of the issues I was trying to explore through this so-called funny novel. 